I saw the man out yesterday and I was... She's a freaking lunatic. Now I see like a bottle of injectable Dianabol, injectable Anadrol. I'm chubby. Yeah, just yeah. plain fat. Because I'm... And the uh, prostitute came up to me. Methyl trend. The woman's place in the household, I know. Normal trend, so you're able to keep a harem, let's be completely honest with you, is money. That's, <laughs> and that's... All right, this is just a quick update from Leo Longevity and Tony Huge. What are we, what are we researching? What are we doing? I took mint, trust alone, last night, 50 milligrams. I thought you did. I, I saw took it out. I trenbolone, 50 milligrams last night because I didn't train for a week. So, I mean, I didn't train for a month. I, I was traveling to Philippines. We did two workouts per week, and that's all. No, he did two workouts per week. I did two workouts in the last two months. No, but, the last year. But then I just took two weeks off working out completely also because we just moved into this new house, this new battle station here. I saw the mint out yesterday, and I was wondering if it was, I was wondering what was going on. Oh, I opened a lot of gear last night. I opened a bottle of mint. I yeah. opened a bottle of injectable Anadrol. Yeah, I saw that also. I think uh, maybe injectable D-ball. Methyltren, methyltran yes. to take pre-workout. <laughs> so, because, because you need a kick in the pants. Like, you're not feeling motivated to work out. True. It's hard to get into it. And yeah, you can take a pre-workout is great. We're definitely gonna take pre-workouts before the gym. But also there's steroids out there that have this stimulant effect that give you drive, you know, motivation to work out hard. And it makes working out not painful. Speaking of which, we're going to add Kratom. Oh. Do you take Kratom? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. You don't like Kratom because it's the opioid yeah. receptor? Well, but also because it tastes like crap. And I don't really respond well to opioids. Like, I don't get the pleasure other people do. Okay, but I'm going to experiment on some chemistry that he wants me to experiment with, like uh, let's say valproic acid, for example, which works through the GABA pathway and makes us more relaxed all day. And I'm also experimenting with the oh, girls. Did you start with valproic acid? No, I've got it on the desk over there. I just okay. wanted you to be with me the first time I take it. Yeah, that's it's all. very interesting. But I also want him to experiment with some stuff, like experiment, give Kratom another chance. Well, what I'm really trying to do now is experiment with this higher dose of naltrexone which we're going to make a video about soon yeah. to inhibit hunger with the tesofensi. I, I have a theory of how to combine a couple of different pathways. Actually, there's like five or six pathways to inhibit hunger that will have synergistic effects on each other and should cause people to have really no excuse not to overeat. But you also said that for you to get back in shape, sh just show your stomach. Really. No, 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 I'm not. Sure. Okay, he's <laughs> really fat. Like, Very fat. What's worse than a dad bod? Like, no, this is a... I'm chubby. Yeah, just yeah. plain fat. Well, because I'm naturally fat, though. Keep in mind. You see, I don't eat that much. Oh. Yeah, but I'm naturally fat. Yeah. So, I mean, I got him a shirt to wear on videos that looks better, but, like, his stomach looks huge on the shirt. <laughs> like, he's wearing this shirt because it hides his stomach. So, it's really going to be a drastic Well, that's not the reason I'm wearing this shirt. I would wear the shirt either way, but maybe I would have worn the other shirt yeah. for this. But when we do a transformation video with him eventually, you'll see the slow motion video of him jiggling the <laughs> stomach fat, and then you'll see the stomach fat's gone. But you like to transform your body through building muscle first, not through losing fat, because when you build the muscle, the fat loss comes much easier. But now you're saying you're going to experiment with appetite suppressants. So be, no, no, I'm experimenting with appetite suppressants for the listeners. I don't have a problem suppressing my appetite. This is just because I don't care that much. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't like... After being muscular and being skinny and being muscular and fat and skinny so many times in my life, I really don't care that much. Although it does influence my lifestyle, of course, mainly in the way that, honestly, women, women, women and men, it's interesting, right? If you're fat, it's interesting sometimes fat guys like myself will look at a fat girl and be like, oh, no, of course not. But they're not even thinking about themselves. Like, nobody's attracted to somebody fat. Just, I mean, not nobody. There's actually some guys that are, but very few people. So that's where it mainly affects me. And you're really excited to pick up. Like I noticed the other day, listen, to, no, I'm not interested. <laughs> listen, the other day, listen, this is how I thought of it. The other day I was at, I was with you, I think at some bar or something like this. And a, a prostitute came up to me or a dancer, a stripper at the go-go bar. And she's like trying to like coerce me into paying for her to get a drink. And I was like, sorry, I don't pay for sex or for women. And then she was like, are you sure? And you're, then I, you're in the wrong town. Listen, listen. <laughs> then I said, yeah, I don't need to. Then she said, are you sure? I think oh. you do need to. I was like, oh, it's because I'm fat now. <laughs> yeah. So, so we, we have our goals like, you know, get in shape. I want to get in shape. I guess I should do a quick physique check. Just like abs are still there. These are his goals. My goal is mainly to get back to research very well. But also I want to go to the gym and all that. But not, I don't, I mean, that's more as an experiment. 
then you want to experiment with things to see how you can transform your body quickly more than actually having an amazing body no not even i just want i uh, just want to be uh, like undo the damage i've done to myself in the last few months with uh, gaining weight and stuff while depressed that's the only re i'm not very motivated to do it because yeah. i'm never going to gain a lot of muscle because it's very harmful for health in the long term. I'm already 34. Well, so this is interesting because a lot of channels out there, they're either mainstream and the content is really boring about diet and exercise, and they don't really talk about the awesome chemistry that makes it all easier. And then you have the other extreme of the bodybuilding channels that are all in on the chemistry and it, and really extreme. And, and there's just not a lot that's kind of in between for people like us who have such busy schedules and prioritize mental performance and business and things like this to be able to have a really amazing body with as low maintenance as possible by using chemistry as a shortcut. By the way, Tony saying this, you might think that he doesn't, I don't know if you're gonna post this, but you might think that he doesn't, like he's just, whenever I heard you say this, I thought you were imagining that you're being very efficient, but you really are very, he dare barely goes to the gym. He eats sweets randomly, like almost every day, you eat some kind of sweet. He's actually almost always though. eating. You're almost always eating. Like, yeah. throughout the I day, like he's like snacking. Yeah, he eats random things everywhere. He's Smoothies. very efficient. Very efficient. He puts juice. barely any effort into this. He always has abs. You know, it's very, you're actually right. He is really efficient. I was never like that. So, the number one goal right now uh, is actually the harem quest because if I have my women situation smooth, everything else is easy. I sleep good. I wake up inspired. I'm excited. I don't have to go chasing women because they're already in the house. Now you've experienced started experiment experiencing the harem quest firsthand like you're actually in the house with the I'm girls observing here. observing yeah. your harem. all right leo it's harem quest adventures where where are we going for dinner we're not going on a harem quest adventure and and first of all a big thank you to leo because um i am too nice with the girls they do take advantage of me and 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 that's fine to a certain point but it starts a domino effect and it starts getting too far and it yeah. gets out of hand and once a girl disrespects you, it's really hard to get that respect back. Mm -hmm. But Leo did what I wish I could do myself, but I think it had to come from outside. And he sat down, a uh, cat lady, for like 90 minutes, like an hour and a half, with his finger pointing at like this, telling her her place. No, that's and... not <laughs> Look, look, <laughs> There's look, a lot of different look, ways look. to say it. There's I'll... a lot of things that were said. <laughs> that's true. But like really putting her... <laughs> putting her in her place <laughs> now i know what you're thinking about but wait wait admit something to the audience she revealed so during this conversation midway i realized like this person has a pathological uh, outlook on life and there's something wrong with her she's not able there's some root source yeah, of why she's not, she she's not able to be what she wants to be and she has some she, basically she's mistreating tony look they all mistreat tony but most of them mistreat tony to use him or to benefit from him because he lets it go by they think he's a pushover they don't realize that he's actually kind. But in her case, it seemed to be something more. Yeah, mistaking kindness for weakness. Yeah, right? that's this very is, common. The phrase. But in his case, it seemed something more. So I went outside for a bit, thought about it, came back in, and I told her, uh, you know, something happened to you in your childhood for sure that caused this. And I started asking her about her relationship with her parents, with her siblings. And then she revealed to me a very horrific story, which we can't repeat because it's a personal thing, but it's horrific that happened in her childhood. That she's more never... about more about abandonment and a little bit of abuse. No, no, no. Not not sexual though. Not sexual. Yeah, yeah. Not, but not sexual. But it's worse than abandonment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very bad. So the thing in her childhood turns out she's never told anybody. Her she she claims in her entire life, which is interesting because she did tell one of our friends a lot of things, but not that. Mm. So there is some. So so don't put it that way. Just that putting it in her place. I was psychoanalyzing her. Not a. I'm not a psych psychologist, but because people bury their emotional problem and trauma down deep and then it has like leaves and tr it's like a, a, a tree and like the roots of the tree are affecting the whole tree and you don't see the roots under the ground you identified the roots and now it helped us understand how the tree is developing and now we could get to the root of the problem and most of all make her realize the root of the problem because she probably hadn't thought about it in a while like why she disrespect well men. she totally broke down she started crying and yeah. she she realized that so now now she's nice to puppy that was a big problem she totally was always mean yeah. to puppy so puppy's fine puppy's always been cool like she don't, puppy only left because of, there was just too much drama and now there's less drama i want the audience to know that tony and i differ in many things like he's conservative with chemicals i mean he's a liberal with chemicals i'm more conservative he goes to the gym i don't go to the gym at all i'm interested in longevity he's interested in the moment 
We also have completely different tastes pleasure. in women. Pleasure. I'm interested in pleasure. Pleasure. We have different tastes in women. I want this to be clear. We're going to burn your reputation. We're going to burn your reputation. This is not a child. For some reason, Tony is dating this 23-year-old. Sure, sure, sure. This is wrong. Sure, sure. No, no, sure, sure. This is wrong. I consider Puppy a very poor choice, especially if you're going to have Aram. Although she's very polite and nice. I'm not even talking about her age. I'm talking about just looks. So, we have a different, please don't judge me for his choices in women, I would never, I, let me, not that, not that, close the, the door, keep going, keep going. Not that I, not, not that I choose women based on looks, but it's just, it's interesting when you have an assortment of 10 different women that all look like, okay, <laughs> so, interesting. so now, now, I mean, fingers crossed and don't count the chickens before they hatch <laughs> and don't jinx it and all these things, but right now the harem is perfect. I've got, yesterday I had, Werewolf, Baby Mama 2 with Allie, uh, Puppy, and Cat Lady, which is four of my girlfriends. You know, okay. maybe, maybe I've got like eight. So I had like four of here at the same time. Last night slept over Cat Lady and Puppy. And uh, last night I had sex with three of them. Okay, so here, I gotta interrupt again. There's another thing I don't approve of. Not a don't approve, I don't think it works. Especially in Tony's situation where women are like walking all over him and naturally using him and stuff like that. But I don't, so I've dated multiple people at the same time for years. I stupidly gave that up in the first year of the relationship with my ex-wife. And this, I think, is one of the main causes for all my problems. I'm never going to do that again. Never going to be monogamous myself ever again. So we're on board with that. I do not believe that there is a point of having more than five or whatever girlfriends, number one for various reasons but most importantly i don't believe you can have girlfriends living in the same home uh it doesn't work and also having them sexually at the same time i don't think usually works unless they're genuine lesbians in which case i don't understand that ter i mean uh, bisexuality right. i don't know that territory well but basically what i'm trying to say is you could have women in different apartments why i'm saying in different houses or apartments because he pays for them so if you're paying for it i would get them in different places it's very easy to go out with them independently and have them respect you as long as you're honest. I used to go out with them simultaneously and I used to allow, like, they would sometimes meet together without me. But I would never have them at home. I tried it, I told, I told Tony before, and drama used to just ensue no matter what. So for example, you go to the bathroom, to use the bathroom, suddenly one of the women runs in there, I've told you the story before, and just slams you on the wall and starts kissing you and moaning. How can you moan from kissing? Oh no, she wanted the other girl to hear and to think that, so this is the stuff that is just too much drama and headache, it's not worth it in life. As we always say, if your private life is chaotic, your work life won't be, your work life will be stable. You're right, so if, if the women could remain emotionally stable all the time, then the harem is easy. And if the women, which no, but I, all are, are instable, then there's going to be some explosion somewhere along the way and then it's going to fall apart, which is what happened before no, with even if it's, and Cat Lady. This is what I'm saying. Even if it's stable, for them to have genuine affection for you, they will not want you to... They don't want to be in a situation where they're watching you give affection to somebody else. And there's just so many potential opportunities where they may feel slighted yes. during the day. Yes, but, but it's not me, manageable. Let me explain. It's now, not manageable. Now I'm going to explain not with it five. to you. If you had two women, maybe mm -hmm. it's manageable or three. Not with this man. I, I can't. I can't manage if there. You know, if there's five in the house at one time, it's too much to manage. But if there's two or three, I can at one time I can manage, and then they kind of rotate out from there. So at any given time, there's two or three, uh, but there's a total pool to choose from of about eight. So I can figure out what combination I want at any given time. But when one gets jealous because she sees me kiss another, because I like being affectionate with them. You see, I'm always touching them. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it actually suits him worse than me because he's so affectionate. If, it's so horrible if, for you. <laughs> yeah, if I give mm -hmm. puppy attention and then I see cat lady gets a little bit jealous. But she holds, she knows now to be respectful. She knows that she's going to get a better outcome. There's some logic involved. She's going to get a better outcome if she doesn't cause drama. So instead the jealousy builds up in her. And then I go to her and I give her attention and she's so much more excited about it. And she wants me so much more. Well, well, you, you know how the pre-selection, if a woman sees you with yeah, another sure. woman, they're like, ah, he must be worthy of that woman's love or a woman's love and affection. When the girl sees me with another girl, it creates a little bit of a jealousy. And then when I come back to her, it means so much well, more. It it's not a negative Bro, thing. It would if you weren't picking uglier girls each time. 
the bro, bro, I want the audience to be in on the on this thing. So it's not that nothing's wrong. Is Tony has unusual taste, but the women don't have the same taste, bro. Yes. So, so I promise the you, they are looking at her. For example, the small one that looks like she's very young. She's not young, by the way. She, she's legal, and Tony doesn't like her for that reason. But Tony has weird tastes and things. She, I find her like, uh, look, I'm not attractive. Don't misunderstand. I hope the audience doesn't think I think I'm attractive. I'm not attractive. But I'm saying if you're, you already have five girls. You picked a sixth one. You'd think you'd pick one that was very good looking. Then, yes, she would feel that. Thing. But I think some of them are looking down and saying, like what happened to me when I, had, I recently had two girlfriends too. The Portuguese one was saying about the Brazilian one, oh, why are you dating this fat girl? I'm like, I didn't think she was fat, but the, the Portuguese one's thinner. And I guess she's thinking in her mind, oh, this is just an obese woman. Yeah. So then it actually, you actually lose respect and you gain hatred. So it's very difficult. I don't know if they're all gaining respect. The, probably the just... flip side of that <laughs> is the jealous, the, the jealousy of like an older woman to a younger woman. Like cat lady is jealous. Yes. Oh, that's puppy. horrible. So, so, that. but, but, but also the value, like, like for example, cat lady sees the value in puppy and that she's very young and looks very young and young, she knows yeah. in Thailand, Thailand that's a very high value so even if you don't think she's attractive the fact that she looks very young makes her a high value girl that's, in Thailand that's, that's true no let, let me yeah. give you an example so the back to my story the Portuguese there was a Portuguese woman Brazilian woman and then the 19 year old Thai woman in Bangkok right when we were in Philippines when the Brazilian was with me she discovered the age of the which I don't care about I didn't know her age when we matched originally but she discovered the age of the Thai woman, and since then she was crazy jealous. Mm. Like she didn't, she's not rude, but you can tell suddenly now she's very aware. Yeah, they see. What I want to reinforce is I want the girls to have the best possible personalities, the best possible attitudes, uh, the most respect for me. And so what we have developing now is girls that have great personalities who aren't afraid to be on camera because they're actually there's been a lot of hot girls. And they won't go on camera because they want foreign sponsors and it's also very suspicious they do so they only fans and things like this so like to find girls that have great personalities that are that are outgoing that don't have anything to hide like there's other things to respect besides just the beauty of the face even if you have different which beauty listen guys i gotta tell you this. so out of our group of friends i think most of the people here have a like a almost like a fetish for east asian women like they almost only like East Asian women. Then there's two people. One of them is in India right now. I'm talking, oh, well, I won't say who he is, but you know, our friend, he doesn't like East Asians and I don't either. He's the guy who gets foot massages all the time. So me and him are constantly like confused because Tony's getting drama from these women. They're rude and we find them absolutely hideous. Like all of them. So I don't know about- But since your conversation with Cat Lady, there's been no drama with yeah, any, with any of great. the women. You see, you see, just like you identified, the disrespect really got amplified when Baby Mama One came back and then disrespected me in front of the rest of the harem. The rest of the harem started disrespecting me. Then Cat Lady became more and more disrespectful as a result of witnessing Baby Mama One being less disrespectful, and the rest of the harem became see, even more disrespectful. It's very interesting. They're so primal. Now that you fit, now that Baby Mama One is kept away from the harem house. Baby Mama too, it can come over though. Mm -hmm. Baby, but but then also Borup and uh, uh, so Cat Lady is now respectful. Now the rest are following her. Yeah, this is actually really true. I I, I noticed this when I had two before. It's happened to me before where one disrespect me and the other one saw it, and I noticed a change. That's how I know from personal experience. Mm -hmm. People in general, not just women, are very primal. I think, and women especially can cue in on things that most guys won't even notice. I'm not talking about a woman disrespecting, I'm talking about when they go to a dinner to meet you and there's several of your friends there, they're observing how each of your friends treats you. Mm. They're constantly looking for the leader. And, and what I felt, what I noticed is if they see a woman, a potential mate disrespect you, it's like the opposite of you going out with a hot girl. Mm. It's like, oh, this is, what am I doing with this? It can, it can just like make the magic of, of them being into you just evaporate. So now I'm actually asking the girls like how each other is performing. So I asked Puppy, Good. like how's Cat yeah, Lady yeah, yeah. doing? And she more? said, actually Cat Lady's doing much better, but there's still like a little hint of negativity that we can't pick up because they're speaking a different language or there's subtle body language. By the way, bear in mind. So then I go back to Cat Lady and then I say, okay, I need you to just be a little bit more positive and even a little bit more respectful. I'm not saying you did anything wrong. I'm just saying be mindful of it and do it. And she does it. 
So now we're in a position where finally I can talk and I can address these things and and but but I have to I think say it's that fixed. Just, I don't want to take blame for this later. I my advice to him was to to get rid of Kathleen completely. Just never speak to her again. Stop paying for her apartment. Get rid of her and never engage again. Why? I don't believe you can ever regain respect from from a lady that you've dated if she lost respect for you, which is not intentional. Not, I mean, not uh, justified, but just because she saw uh, baby mama number one disrespect you, that happened. If you catch it fast enough, maybe it'll work, but if she's allowed to, dis she, I mean, she really mistreat him. I, I've seen slamming doors and doing all kinds of, he's such a nice guy and calm, and it literally gets in the way of his creativity and his ability to think. And I've seen him depressed, you know, many, not, I mean, pretty much depressed through the day because of this. Anyway, if somebody is able to do all that, usually I think it won't, it won't last. But Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does work because he really likes her. See, Tony is very attached to people. He doesn't like to abandon people. So he's trying to like make it work. And, and I've also trained her. Like she knows, she made me a chicken shake yeah, this morning. She true. brought me a yogurt with fruit in it and, and juice. Like, but that's not, you're make, that's true. It's, but also he really likes her. Yeah, but, so, but I used to think, okay, if a girl does a lot of stuff for me, I will sacrifice on some things. Like I won't ask for as much respect, whatever. Mm -hmm. But now I'm just increasing my standards, and you're, and also just having you around now that you've really been stern with her, uh, I think just having you around reminds her I that. of like the woman's place in the household. I know that sounds <coughs> patriarchal or misogynistic or something, but it just the system works. No, if no, the no. man is in charge, and the women are all serving the man, and the man is serving the women by providing for them emotionally, physically, and financially. Then it's a win-win situation. Everybody's happy. That might be true, but I just, for clarity's sake, I just wanted to point out that it's not that I was reminding her the woman's role. I was telling, I was pointing out who's providing what. Tony pays for your life, for your, you have two apartments. Uh, I mean, literally, she's living in two apartments. You're, she's kind to you. He cares for you. He asks how you're doing. He, he does all these things for you. On the other hand, you are a rude bitch that's constantly just rude, abusing situation, asking for money all the time, doing these kind of things. How do you, why do you think Tony would be dating you? I mean, this, I, I just explained to her that it's illogical. Like Tony should leave and you should be respectful. That's the reality of the situation. And once she understood that, I think she understood that, oh, wait a minute, they know how much value they're giving me? Oh, okay, I should, I should. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> she true. Before she thought he didn't realize that. So how is this all relevant to the chemistry? Well, I couldn't do this unless I had the chemistry. First of all, the girls are on Tessa Fencine right now. Are they really? Well, yeah. And it, uh, I didn't intend to kill all of their appetite. I wanted to kill werewolf's appetite <laughs> because she could lose some fat. Puppy's small and cat lady is small. They don't need an appetite suppressant. I put them on it for the nootropic benefit because it's hard to get them to take their supplements every day. But Tessa Fencine has a long half-life. Mm -hmm. So it lasts days. So even if they forget to take their supplement one day, they could take it once every three days and it's still going to have true. a nootropic benefit. So now they're happier, they're more energetic, and they're working harder. And they're working together in I the kitchen, use, right? I would use the word cognitive in the future because we don't want to use the wrong word. Nootropic means improving cognitive performance without stimulating. Does it not seem stimulatory? As a stimulant, yeah. yeah. Also. So we say cognitive benefits. Cognitive enhancing chemistry. Yeah, cognitive enhancement. That's what the, I've been trying to make that term more popular. I think it's more appropriate. And, and, and weed is legal here, and weed certainly helps. You know, I get criticism from baby mama. Baby mama says the only way I'm able to keep a harem is by giving them drugs. Which baby mama? Baby mama one. Baby mama one she's is so a negative lunatic. about it. I don't know if she watches it, but she's a freaking lunatic, immoral human being. I mean, this guy has been going, I don't even want to get into it. There are some bad people in the world. And by the way, what is this comment she's giving you to put you down? Oh, you're controlling them with, with drugs. They're not, this is not, he doesn't give them that many drugs. They, a lot of them refuse, they don't take anything. Like a cat lady, for example, never takes anything. Puppies are really hard to what get it, to take stuff. Yeah, to, what are you, yeah. what are you talking? No, he, when he uses... But it's not recreational drugs. But, but... Well, sometimes it's, it's all like cognitive... But when it's recreational, it's only when you're taking it. You're like, do you want some? Mm -hmm. You're not getting, that's not true at all. But baby mom one, number one is it like, was just, just effing with your head. Yeah. That's totally not true. I've been here long, with you long enough to know that's not true. And that's the most, she knows that's Actually, the most. What, the reason that he, she you're able to keep me. a harem, let's be completely honest with you, is money. That's, <laughs> and that's the same reason baby mama number one is such a, we got I a clip at 23 minutes. Yeah, oh, we got to take that clip. No, no, that's okay. That should go at the beginning of the video. No, but it's true. But it's true. That 
and she tried to make you think that it's because you're drugging them. I mean, yeah. look what kind of manipulative woman she is. Yeah. She tries to destroy your self-esteem all the time. You have to be careful never to let people do this, not just women. So if, if you guys want more videos like this, it's just candid updates on the life of uh, the harem quest, chemistry experimentation, whatever mass blasts we're doing, what steroids we're taking, what nootropics we're experimenting with. We could do these videos twice a week, once a week. Well, you, you guys have to let us know if you like this type of video. To be honest, there's way more stuff that's going on actually that we can update you on. There's so we can many talk stories. for hours a day every but, day. But what we need to do eventually is uh, within like a week or two, we start the weekly podcast. Yeah. So then we have a lot of stories. There's okay, a lot you know of stories. You know what we should there's do? Let's stuff. go as we go through the week. Let's just make bullet points in our notes in our phone of the like really interesting chemistry and lifestyle updates. Yeah, for the, the, for the podcast. Yeah. That way it can go fast paced. Exactly. And yeah, we could do it on the podcast. But, there, I, I but think should so. we get B-roll? Like should we, when we film, like last night I have all the girls in the condo, I have footage of it. <laughs> like should we get the B-roll of these things yeah, so we'll they try. can see what it is? You and if we're taking tesafenzine, we can show tesafenzine. If I'm taking methyltranolone, I can show you the methyltranolone. Like, you give did, more did visual. take methyltranolone yesterday. I didn't take it yesterday because I want to take it with you. So guys, you. listen to this. The, the, the life is very funny uh, comedic here. So I take a nap, Tony takes a nap. I say, I'm gonna go take a nap. He says, I'm gonna take a nap, we'll go to the gym. I wake up too late. Tony's already like on the way to the gym. So I was like, okay. So he's like, I took my shots and I'm gonna go to the gym. I haven't taken anything for a long time. So I was, I was thinking, you know what? I'll take testosterone, take a couple of things, get myself motivated, go to the gym. So I come downstairs and I find the desk has changed. Now I see like a bottle of injectable Dianabol, injectable Anadrol, methyl trend, normal trend, what else was there? There was a bunch of stuff. I was like, yeah. what did Tony do? I thought, I was like, he usually doesn't take anything. He takes barely like one shot a week or something. But I did take a low dosage and I'm only going to do it every, I, I'm, and so, yeah, I'm no, only going to do it until the gyno hits, which it always does on, on, any, on any of those compounds. And then I am going to get gyno surgery soon too. And he's so doing I'm gonna it. have to take a break. So I'm trying to put on a little size again after not really doing much for a month. And then I'll cruise on that size while I recover from gyno surgery when I do it. There's a lot of there's a lot of updates. <laughs> we also have to show you the house. The house is like exciting as well. Yeah. We haven't taken a video with yeah. Anyway, friends, this was a weird video, but let us know if you appreciate it. I mean, we're we're experimenting with different formats of content to see what you guys like. We can just talk off the cuff like this about what's going on if you like that. This is sort updates. of what people do when they do lives, I think. Yeah, it is kind of like a live. Yeah, yeah, Actually, would have been Okay, we'll do a live also sometime so we can ask your questions. All right. Baseball and Soul Friends of Freedom, Pioneers of Human Evolution. Thank <laughs> you.